Okay, YouTube, this is Michael Bell back again for Torque Performance, and uh, today I'm out in the garage trying to finish up this bike. Uh, got my new gloves. You know, thank you for everybody that's supporting me. And uh, pretty much in this video, I'm just going to take the brake pads off and uh, show you how to do that on the front and the rear. But on these on these millays, I think the 98, 99, and 2000 had a different brake set up for the front rotors. And then in 2001, they went to the four pad system and in the two pad system, um, which was on your earlier Gen 1 models. But you know what? I'm gonna cut here. I actually have a set off of Ducati that's the same, that's the same pad. Now these would have been your uh, single pad um, brake calipers. Uh, on the earlier Gen 1 Aprilas, they were actually usually painted red. And you just have your single pad system where in this video here was going to be 2001, 2002, 2003 in the R models would have ran the four um, pad system. So these are your two pads. When you go to order, make sure that you order the right set. Um, and in this video, I actually replaced the original Brembo um, brake pads. And boy, I did not realize how much those were. Uh, I got on the internet with the with AF1 Racing and seen how much they were, and they were like $272 a set, which would explain why those brake pads, if they were original, had lasted that long. But you're talking almost $500 for brake pads compared to, I think I only give 30, 40 bucks for the other ones. But yeah, this is the difference in the other set, but they're basically built the same when you take them apart. So we're gonna do the four, uh, four pad system. Okay, I'm back and uh, yeah, so those are the, that's the difference there in those, uh, those those calipers is when, when you order pads make sure that you you get the right pads for that because some bikes have different different uh calipers and it's actually an upgrade they consider with the four pad system but uh one other thing i want to get to here uh and i'm going to be doing a review on this uh amsoil had finally come out with a 15w50 motor oil um full synthetic for, for basically street bikes. And th this stuff is new. Um, they just come out with it next month and it's going right into this Aprilla. Um, it's a big deal and my Ducati that I've got. But um, a lot of people don't want to go to a full synthetic. Aprilla actually recommends a semi-synthetic. And the reason they, they want that is uh, some of the earlier models had some clutch slippage from the friction plates inside the clutch so they stuck with a semi-synthetic um, because it's less slippery, uh, slip, slippery. But the one thing about uh, Amsoil is actually it's, it's wet clutch compatible and it's blended with additives so you get confident clutch feel. Um, it says, fights extreme heat, wet clutch compatible, protects against rust and corrosion, designed to prevent foam in high RPM areas. Uh, using motorcycles that require 15W50 motorcycle oil, including those made by Ducati, BMW, KTM, Yamaha, Triumph, and Royal Enfield. I will be uh, emailing them. They need to put a Prilla on the back of this. Um, but uh, yeah, I run 20W50, which is what's used in the Harley Davidson usually, and you can cut a lot of temperature out. And that 20W50 is, uh, is wet clutch compatible as well. I've never had a problem with it. Actually, you get better clutch feel when you switch to this. If you live in the U.S., uh, you may want to give, you know, this a shot. It's actually cheaper by the case. And it really helped me out if you follow the links below and sign up as a preferred customer. If you spend a hundred bucks, which will be your case, um, then they ship it to your house for free and I get a little commission off of it. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a video on doing this. A lot of people actually, when they change their pro oil, they're not doing it properly. And I'll get into that because the tube, they measure the tube and they do it on the kickstand. The bike's supposed to be sitting vertical. But uh, yeah, let's get into this. What we're going to do here is, I don't know if you can see this. You've got your two pins here that connect these uh, brake pads in there. And you've got your spring unit here. And what you want to do is take a set of needle nose pliers and push this spring forward. And then you're going to take your pliers and you're going to pull this pin out and the pads are going to drop out of there. You got to choose quite a bit of force to push that spring forward. And don't lose these. These are not cheap. They just press in there. And then go ahead and do the front. You actually feel it kind of click. 
this one might be, I might have a hard time getting this front one off. There we go. And that's going to release, that's going to release your pads inside the caliper there. And don't lose these springs as well. You'll be paying $12 shipping to get these shipped to your house if you don't have an Aprilla dealer near you. And then the pads, you want to remove the pads from the top of the of the caliper. There you go. Well, th these are actually Brembo brake pads. These are probably the original brake pads. And if they're not, these, these suckers are expensive. And once you have the the calipers, the brake pads and everything out of the out of the caliper, we get some light on there. Um, you'll want to go ahead and press those pistons back in. And actually, there's a tool for that. That's the one tool I don't have. I need to get that tool to press these back in because the pads you're gonna the pads you're gonna put on here are gonna be a little thicker. So you want to press those back in and try not to you know damage these and it actually will help help you out a little bit if you take that top of the brake cup off but you really want to be careful not to and you probably want to get some towels uh, above the brake cup because the fluid might shoot out of the brake cup and you don't want to get that brake fluid on your paint And I was having some issues with, uh, I thought the front wheel, I had a brake uh, piston sticking, and I think I do. I think it's this left rear one. I think it's sticking. Because it's not, it's not pushing back in very well. You know. Then what you want to do is clean all this off while you have it apart. Be surprised what cleaning the. the, the I, I I'm really not a big fan of cleaning. I like to ride my bikes, not work on them. And we'll get this. this wipe down a little bit you want to watch spraying your your rims sometimes that brake parts cleaner will uh, take those wheel weights off I got some on there but that's okay and then we'll put these back together Okay, now that we've got all this cleaned up, well, about as good as I'm going to clean it, um, we're going to put the brake pads back in there. And I will tell you this, um, this brand that I came on to called Sixity, they uh, they actually make really decent brake pads for the price. Now, a lot of Aprilia uh, owners are probably like, oh, I'm going to use stick with Brembo. But I have noticed that these brake pads do last quite a while, and they're they're very reasonably priced so if you want to check them out and uh you know purchase a set from them they're very reasonably priced but make sure you look at the pictures before you order um and you get the right brake pads because there were two different types of brake calipers on the front of this bike so we'll just put these brake pads back in there actually we'll start the front here When you're doing this, it might take you a minute to do the, these single pads. Okay. And then once you get that 
situated in there, you're going to press this pin back in here. Make sure you clean this pin. There it goes. And that's pretty much it on the install on these. It's really simple. We'll do the back set here. And I will tell you, if you want to help me out and you're going to order DOT4 brake fluid, uh, check out this Amswell brake parts cleaner. This stuff is way better than what you could buy in the store. It's industrial strength. It comes out faster. There's a bigger can of it. And it only costs a few dollars. But if you're going to oil, uh, order oil or something, pick up a couple cans of this. It's good to have just to have on hand. When you go to buy that stuff, um, it's, it's really the same price as what you're going to pay in a Napa or a auto parts store for that brake parts cleaner. And I sprayed a differential out the other day with it and couldn't believe how much more it cleaned out with. There we go. Get the pins. How much it cleaned that differential out than the Dollar General brand I was buying because I thought I was going to save some money. Well, you don't save very much money when you got to buy three cans of it and make sure you get these seated in there and there we go okay and on these pins here you can barely see it there's little notches on where the clamp goes on the pin so it'll be fatter in the middle and then there's little notches cut into there and we'll get this mounted back on there and then once you get the brake caliper on the on the disc you'll want to put the the bolts back in I'll put the torque specs in the video below. I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up having to find another used caliper on this left side. I think that one's dragging. And the problem with that is, is I could sit and rebuild that, that Brembo caliper here. But I know from dealing with Ducatis, this is really my first Aprilia, is to get the rebuild kit, I, I, I could actually buy a good used one for cheaper than I could buy the rebuild kit for this front caliper and I, I'd rather you know I hate to say this but I'd rather go through two or three of these than have to break one apart and, and, and pay for all new internals and then not set the seals right and, and end up having to do it again so okay that's pretty much it on this front brake and then go ahead and uh, do the side the other side just like this the rear the rear here we're gonna remove this uh, brake caliper from the from the unit itself and it actually it's got two 10 millimeter bolts in it let's go ahead and get them removed and i actually did i did end up changing the i put a new rear rotor on there and that rear rotor actually come off ebay i've ran these before from bob moto uh i've got one on one of my ducatis and it's a good rotor for the price i mean it was about 50 bucks but more of a hassle because I didn't mount it when I did the tire so and that'll just remove the brake caliper. I'm having some problems with my camera. I knew I was going to buy I said I was going to get a new camera but then you actually just have a push pin oh no you don't you've got an external washer there you're gonna have to remove that be careful not to lose that a lot of people don't have these in their garage spare ones uh, at the store called Harbor Freight they actually sell these and they're really somebody's removed this they've got this all bent up they actually bent it for a reason so you can get it off there it's a pretty good idea Make sure not to lose that. 
then like the front here I believe this just should push out of there I'm not so sure that that's how that's locked in there in place Now this one's built way different than the other ones I've worked on. Just got to press down on this spring and pull this, pull this rod out there. There we go. What a pain in my ass. I'll lose, I'll lose this spring. Then you just want to clean this one off as well when you do all this. actually a little you well know, there's a metal circlip that'll push into that Brembo caliper in that large hole there I will tell you this much Amsoil just came out with a 15w50 they finally I called them one time and told them that they needed to make a 15w50 because it's hard to get us the people that own European motorcycles, um, primarily that run the 1550 to convince them to, to run 20W50 because a lot of people don't want to change from the manufactured uh, spe specified oil. So, uh, yeah, I got a catalog today that Amsoil has a 15W50 metric motorcycle oil. I can't wait to get my hands on that. I'm going to put that in this bike immediately. Um, when I when I end up changing the oil and I'll do a video on that but we'll get to this uh, get these pads in here uh, now that we've got everything clean uh, I'm gonna get this bike done I'm working on this thing it's it's, it's to, I don't know it's probably 11 or 12 o'clock at night I just I need a good eight hour day working on this thing I just don't have the the job to do that. Yeah, these will work. And actually, these old, these old cal or brake pads were Brembo's. It's hard for me to believe that the owner that had this bike actually bought the Brembo's. I believe that those were the original pads, and if they were the originals, they're in amazing shape. There was still some pad left on it, but not much. So. This is gonna be a motherfucker putting this back together. I already know it. Releasing it might have been worse than 
put them back together. It might go back together pretty easy. First time I've ever changed this rear Brembo on this Aprilia. Aprilia, uh, it builds a little different than the Ducatis. Just different part numbers, probably. Just a little bit more. There we go. And then don't forget to put your other clip back on. There you go. Back together. Get it mounted back up here. Then you'll just mount the, the caliper back on the disc. I'll put the torque specs below in the item description. And if you live in the U.S., uh, click that AMSOIL link there and they'll send you a free catalog. I'm changing all this fluid and this entire bike has been changed over to AMSOIL. There's no reason to have to buy the heavy, uh, high, highly expensive, well, it used to be a gap oil i think it's now uh any any oil or a lot of people still run just mobile or motul semi-synthetic um but i run full synthetic the benefits of full synthetic just way outweigh the benefits of semi-synthetic and we'll come back and torque these but uh yeah just click that link below and they'll send you a free catalog and if you decide to order, ugh, I'm going to highly suggest you sign up as that preferred customer. You can sign up for six months for 10 bucks, and if you spend a hundred dollars, they ship it to you for free. So it'll way outweigh the benefit of buying retail. But yeah, there you go. All the brakes all done on this bike. things I don't like about this shirt is one I didn't realize it had buttons I am not a button up kind of guy at all one two three four five six six buttons you know how long it takes to put six buttons on that and this shirt definitely is I mean you gotta tuck this kind of shirt in you don't I'm not a shirt in tuck kind of guy either you know, it's a good looking shirt. Hey, I don't know about $45. I mean, you spend $45 on this thing. I mean, I'm looking for some secret stitching in this. I don't see any type of secret stitching whatsoever. You know, this thing ought to have them little Honduran people. They, they, that $45 shirt ought to be stitching this with secret stitching. This just looks like a single stitch in here. So... Yeah, a little disappointed this thing don't have secret stitching on.